Hi guys, so I picked up a super rare Juni bag locally recently. And it was one of those things where I always check local yard sale apps like Let Go and Offer Up because you never know what you're gonna find. And I don't find that many Junis in my area because it's just not that popular of a brand here. Um, but this one popped up and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I like that style, but I just have to see this thing in person because I've never ever seen one before, even in a picture. So um, I'm excited to show it to you guys and here it is. It is a dome buckle satchel. This is in Dylan leather and it is in the color aqua. Oh my gosh, guys, have you ever seen this before? I totally haven't. I mean, I haven't been collecting Dooney that long, but I didn't even know that this existed out in the universe. So I was super excited to see it. And the lady lived like 45 minutes away from me and I was too lazy to drive. So she mailed it to me. Well, I was, it was great when I got it. I had a couple like dingy areas. The bottom was really dingy. Um, and it had a couple of spots on it that I cleaned up and it cleaned up beautifully. Look at the bottom now. Looks totally awesome. It has a little bit of corner wear, you can see. And um, it does have some spotting on the brown straps. You know how that is with this kind of weather. It just, it, that will never go away. So I cleaned and conditioned the whole thing. No more dingy areas, um, no more spots. But I did notice, um, you know, with these light colored bags when they have these straps, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this on camera, but the brown strap dye starts to come off on this light color. So there's a couple areas on this bag where it's kind of worn. Can you see there? That brown dye, and it's gone onto the aqua. And I really tried to clean it without removing the aqua color and I just couldn't get it off. So I think it's a permanent problem. But the real problem with this bag, other than that I don't like the style, is it smells like cigarettes, you guys. How sad is that? This is such a gorgeous bag, super rare, and it stinks like an ashtray. And I don't know what to do about it. I let it air out outside one day when it was warm tried Febreze. Uh, I'm gonna try baking soda next. <laughs> I've heard Windex might work, but honestly, every bag that I've had that has come with a cigarette odor, I have not been able to get it out. And I have tried several tricks. I know people say charcoal, but honestly, it's just one of those odors. I just think it's gonna be permanent on this bag. It's just not gonna come out. So it's a really big shame. But let me show you the, outs the inside. You can see it has that kind of gingham type fabric instead of the red cotton. It does still have the suede, even though this is Dylan leather, not 14. It has a nylon keeper in here, so it's a newer one. And you can see that the zipper is not red. So I think this is because it's Dylan, not 14. They match the zipper to the bag color. And if you see up close here, it's got this texture to it, which is why it's the Dylan leather, not 14. So the Dylan leather is way more durable than 14. It's almost like a very soft um, pebbled leather, um, but it doesn't have a whole lot of texture to it like a pebble, pebbled leather. Um, but it is way more durable than 14. And you can see the tassels here have the green suede, just like a 14 bag would. And the cool thing about this style is it does have an outside pocket. Look, it's kind of a small pocket, but I think I could fit my phone in there. I have an iPhone 6. So let me try it on video and show you why I don't like it. Okay. This that you can't get my elbow through, Pecan Tan Beauty. I watched your video the other day. It's called the Elbow Test. I didn't know what that was until just the other day. So it does fit in the shoulder, but it is right up in my armpit. And it 
looks great, satchel style. Really generous for satchel style. But like I said before, I just don't carry my bags that way. So it would have to be a shoulder bag for me. And I'm just picturing trying to get into this thing with like no room to spare and reach inside. And this is just with a thin sh top on. I can't imagine what this would be like with my winter coat or a big sweater. It just, I don't know. Between that and the smoke smell, I don't know guys, it's not looking good for this one. So I'm probably gonna um, try to move it along to someone else. I feel bad trading it in, but I don't know if anybody wants a bag that smells like this. So I'm just gonna have to see what happens. It's really sad, isn't it? Look how pretty it is. All right, well, kind of a sad video today, but still exciting that we all got to see this bag and that it exists in the universe for other people to find. It hopefully doesn't stink and they're a big fan of the style, so. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know if you have any questions or suggestions on how to get the smell out if you've ever really had success moving, removing cigarette odor because I have not. So maybe I just haven't tried the right thing yet. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.